Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha Reka Kodash Ma'ama. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elders as well. Aharwan Ban Yasha Allah of the Lions Day Camp. And salutations to the fellow Akim, our wife and children that believe in truth and in sincerity. It's your brother, I thank y'all back to another lesson. And Yahara Tazah is edifying. You know, basically, I just want to do a quick lesson. I'm just basically going into um, little laws of, of the Bible. I guess I can do a more so a little series, per se, um, throwing, uh, you know, just little quick hits pertaining to the strange laws of the Bible. You know, things that uh, you may not have heard of in refers to the 613 laws, statute commandments of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You know, you break one, you break them all. You know, that's how we know that those uh, false ABCD camps, those false Hebrew camps, the IUICs, the ISUPKs, that they're hypocrites, you know? And that's why we have the 100% truth by telling you that, hey, establish the law. Tr hey, tr don't make void the law. Keep it to the best of your ability, you know? And when you find yourself go off, going off, repent, you know, sincerely, you know, because hey, Esau has created a whole society um, which deprives you of, 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 you know, fulfilling your vow to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, uh, keeping the law to 100%. All right. That's why we have to do it to the best of our ability. All right. And uh, basically, uh, strange laws, you know, and this is going into manslaughter. All right. Or what you would call manslaughter today with the westernized mindset. All right. Which is a, 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 a killing. All right. You know, um, which is a big difference from a murder. And a killing, which a murder is, is pretty much a sinful, which you should not do. You know, uh, it's highlighted in the the first eight, the Ten Commandments. You know, you know, a thou shall not a a a a murder. You know, and ultimately, murder is sinful because it's with malicious intent. You know, um, it's with uh, wickedness intent. You know, the the intent is wicked. You know, when when a killing is all is all through the spirit, you know, it's uh, ultimately the Lord's doing, you know, and he's using man to do it, you know, and um, it ultimately was the Lord's will. But I want to start off in Numbers 35 and verse 9, and it reads, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall appoint you cities to be cities of refuge for you. When we go into that, that, that refuge, you know, and it's, you know, a city of refuge, man, you know, asylum, so to speak. H4733. Strong's H4733. McLot. 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 McLot, which is refuge, asylum, you know, basically, uh. You know, um, and this is pretty much when we was uh, a, a, after uh, destroying the Canaanites, you know, took it over, taking over their land, you know, and it was instructed. All right. That we a we appoint cities to the Levites. All right. Which was the priesthood at the time. You know. We appoint cities, you know, and six of those cities were cities that were supposed to be place of refuge. All right. In a place of asylum, meaning a place to escape. From, from judgment, uh, 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 judgment of what? The, the people, all right? Because ultimately, if the Lord wanted to judge you, he would have done so already, man. You know, because, hey, he he do, hey, this is, it's, this is his doing, man. It's his will. He killeth and he maketh alive, man. As the scriptures say, let's get that right quick. And it's Deuteronomy 32 and 39. And it reads, See now that I, even I, and he, right, the Alpha and the Omega, Alpha and the Omega, the Ah to the Tha, all right? And there is no God with me, as you see the God lowercase. I kill, because God ultimately is a title, all right? So a, by it being capital, you're referring to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because that's the one true only power that exists, all right? I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right. He killeth, he maketh alive, man. He wounds and he heals. 
You know, so it ain't the man that killeth, it's ultimately the spirit that moved that man to kill. Who moved that spirit, man? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, as Proverbs 20 and 24 states, man. You know, man's goings are of the Lord. And this is Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Right? There's no such thing as free will. All right? Everything is predestined and moved through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's already written. You know, this is his uh, theater, so to speak, and we're, 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 we're his actors, man. You know, this is his uh, chessboard, and we're the pieces, man. You know? But back in Numbers 35... And I started verse 11. Then ye shall appoint you cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the slayer may flee thither, which killeth any person at unawares. Right, at unawares. Meaning he didn't, he didn't mean to. It was unaware. He didn't know. All right. And they shall be unto you cities for refuge from the avenger, that the manslayer die not until he stand before the congregation in judgment. Right, till he have his day of judgment. You know, to things are, are, are weighed into the to the balance, you know, because it's imperative to uh, ultimately a. Uh, let me get it right quick. Bakwasha. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12 and 13, and it reads. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and keeps his commandments. For this is the whole duty of men. You know, and you got to hear the conclusion of the whole matter. You know, if you jump and rush to uh, kill, all right, murder, ultimately, because that's what you would be doing. You'll be putting forth murder, all right, um, if, if, that, if that person is actually innocent. You know, if he's, uh, you know, you'll be putting him to death unjustly. You know, and that's why we we are told to wait until the Lord rise up to the prey. You know, in a uh, in a broader spectrum. You know, um, as as a whole, as a uh, you know, to hopefully let all right, because we don't want to be like the Nat Turners, you know, of the world, because we could be killing our own people. Because some of our people, some of the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans look like the other nations, man. You know. According to the book of Jeremiah, the Lord's heritage is unto him as a speckled bird, man. you know, so a, we're, a, a color is a distinction, but it's not everything, you know, we could be killing our own people. That's why it's instructed for us to wait until we rise up to the prey, you know, and right now what you got going on is, is nothing but uh, death um, uh, in, in society, man, it's dark and gloomy and there's nothing but death out here in, in, in this society, man, in Babylon. You know, because that's the culture that they ultimately have created, man. The death, the death culture, you know, with the music, um, just Esau's ways, way of life, his wine and philosophies, man, his way of life, you know. So hey, you want to hear the conclusion of the whole matter, man, you know, and, and got one, uh, somebody wanted to avenge the death of their family member. All right. You know, they're, 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 they're moving in, 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 in emotion. All right. Not, not, not in the balance through, through the spirit, you know, balancing things out, you know, so they might want to put you to death without hearing the conclusion of the whole matter, man. You know, you could be very well innocent. It could be a doing of the Lord, you know, it could be a doing of the spirit, man, by way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, not just a malice murder of man himself, all right? But you go hey, before, the, before the judge today, Esau Edom, all right, which hey, claims that he's a man of God. You know, and he has the Bible in every courtroom, all right, specifically the KJV, the 1611 King James Version, all right, in every courtroom in America. And ultimately, he uh, that he deems that he's a godly nation, man, that he trusts in God, man, which he's a liar, all right. But ultimately, they, uh, and they have this book in the, in the courtroom, man, you know, and still persecute the Lord's people, you know, and throw them um, and incarcerate them, all right, uh. For things that they 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 may have, they they might be very well innocent for, you know, which shows you that hey, these people don't care uh, about the law of the Lord, you know. 
You know, they call evil uh, good and good evil. You know, that's mentioned in Isaiah 5 and 20. Let's get that right quick. You know. Woe unto them that can... Salakia. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right? You know, and that's ultimately what they do. You know, claiming that they're a godly nation. But they, they do everything contrary to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You know, they uh, have a deaf culture out here in society, man. They don't have uh, uh, cities of, of, of refuge and of, 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 of asylum, all right? They have created a quagmire, man, a hornet's nest, where there's nothing but uproars in the streets, and not only in the streets of America and Babylon, but throughout the four corners of the earth, man. You know, as the scriptures say, man, when the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, man. And the people are mourning, why? Right? Because the wicked... Is ruling, all right, and this is pretty much hey, hey you, you should have a, a place of refuge, man. You know, um, but here in, in America and Babylon, people are pretty much uh judged and guilty in the public eye, you know, hey, through uh, through deceit, through their news, all right. Second Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11, their media, lest Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices, right? His media, you know, his prop propaganda and the stuff that he pushed out there on the media, the World Wide Web, right? The internet, you know, ultimately to keep up this deaf culture, to keep it going. And ultimately to have a, what we, a, a, what was instilled in the past, still, a, a still instilled today, man. You know, that spiritual yoke of, 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 of. Not Jim Crow, but um, the Willie Lynch letter, man, of having one slave versus the other slave. You know, pretty much we're still in that state today, man, as a people. You know, we're still in, uh, 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 suffering those curses, man. You know, spoken of in Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 to 68. All right. Let me bring out some scriptures on, on, on how a murder, just murder is, is wicked, you know. And it's not something you should do, but it's a difference from murder and a killing. All right, a justified killing, you know, and the, the Lord had all these things in place from the beginning, man, just like the law on rape. All right. There's no stone stone that has not been unturned when it comes to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is Deuteronomy 19. Bear with me. I start at verse one. When the Lord thy power have cut off the nations whose land the Lord thy power giveth thee. Like we brought out that example in Numbers 35 when we destroyed the Canaanites and took over that land. And thou secedest them and dwellest in their cities and in their houses. Thou shalt separate three cities for thee in the midst of thy land, which the Lord thy power giveth thee to possess it. Thou shalt prepare thee a way and divide the coasts of thy land. Which the Lord thy power giveth thee to inherit into three parts, that ever that every slayer may flee thither. Right, that every slayer may flee thither. And this is the case of the slayer which shall flee thither, that he may live. Whoso killeth his neighbor ignorantly, whom he hated not in times past. Right, whom he hated not in times pa past, man. You know, because if he hated him in times past, that's where the, the ill intent comes in, the maliciousness, the, the, the premeditated, the wickedness. And that's what makes it murder. All right. But hey, if he killed his neighbor ignorantly, meaning not knowing, all right, whom he hated not in times past, meaning he didn't hate him in times past, man. You know, so hey, by him doing that deed, he might very well be remorseful. Uh, uh, after the fact or look at his hands and and and, 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 and ask the lord what 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 did he cause him to do you know as when a man verse five as when a man go off into the wood with his neighbor to hew wood and his hand fetch up a stroke with the axe to cut down the tree right you know he made a mistake and, and, and cut his hand man while he's actually working you know And the head slipper from the health 
and light and, and lighteth upon his neighbor that he die, he shall flee unto one of those cities and live. Right, because it was a mistake. All right, it was a uh, manslaughter, so to speak. All right, it wasn't premeditated. It wasn't with ill intent. It wasn't with malicious intent. It wasn't out of wickedness. You know, it was out. Of, it was through the spirit, ultimately. You know, again, because a a Proverbs twenty and twenty four, man's going to the Lord. You know, verse six. Let the avenger of the blood pursue the slayer, while his heart is hot. Right, while his heart is hot. You know, he's not really meditating you know he's pretty much in, in, in he's he see blood man and overtake him because the way is long and slay him whereas he was not worthy of death in as much as he hated him not in times past wherefore i command thee saying thou shalt separate three cities for thee right because it's, it's ultimately a separation with with a you know from wickedness and righteousness man you know, with malicious intent and 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 and, and, and selling when willingly versus a, a unwillingly and, and and not knowing, all right, and ultimately coming to the realization of of of, of a, everything's done through the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and we have to resort back to Him for the answers, man. You know, and the understanding, all right. Now, ultimately, a hey, just just you know just get more a clear understanding on how the Lord operates, man. You know, His thoughts is not our thoughts, man. You know, you know, the things that are written aforetime are written for our lear learning, man. This is Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, right? You know, so ain't nothing new under the sun, man. The things that are written aforetime are written for our learning, man, for us to subscribe to and get an understanding of how our Lord operates, man, how our creator operates, man. You know, this is uh, Sirach, the Apocrypha, chapter 3 and verse 15. And it reads, In the day of thine affliction, it shall be remembered. Thy sins also shall melt away. Salakia. Like That's not what I wanted. I think I wanted Ecclesiastes. But if not, we'll move along. Yes, yeah, this is Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah requireth that which is past, man. Right. So if, if if you was to instill the kingdom, you should you should uh require the same things that the Lord required. Before time, man. But Esau, he doesn't he doesn't have these things in place, man. Because he's an unfit ruler. You know, he likes the hornet's nest. He likes the choir the quagmire, the confusion. Alright. This is Babylon, man. The place of confusion. Alright, where you have a, you know, a still the Willie Lynch, where you have uh the slave versus the slave, man. And they they, they seek out to kill each other, man. A due to confusion. Alright. You know. That's pretty much uh, all I got on that, man. A asylum, manslaughter, you know, um, a place of refuge, man, for the accused and the condemned. All right. And um, Yahweh Ratzazah, this lesson was edifying. Shalom, Habatah, and DTA.